Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to talk about how to keep and maintain your fan base. Of course, you've heard me talk about this before. Building your fan base is extremely important. And of course, I talked about how to do it. Get an email list because that's one of the best things that still works and have people opt into your email list. You can easily do this, have a table at your show where you sell merchandise and have a little clipboard or have someone with an iPad there that can take email addresses to build up your fan base. Now, some people might not want to do it, but you should use something to entice them. Maybe give them a free sticker or a free keychain if they opt into your email list. Or you can have it on your website and you want them to opt into your email list. You could say, sign up now for our newsletter and you get a free track. Things like that. And it entices them to maybe do it more. So that, those are ways, simple ways to get people to sign up to your email list. Now, once you get all these fans, the thing is you got to try to keep them. Maintain it. Maintain that they want to stay fans, that they want to buy your merchandise, that they, they want to buy your songs, they want to go to your shows. you got to keep these fans happy. Now, of course, the one way, main way to do that is to always create new content. <laughs> that way they're always happy. They're always, they always get something from you. And that's a start and a big thing. Now, let's talk about some other ways to keep your fan base. One thing to remember is don't make it seem like you're always trying to sell them stuff because that'll drive people away pretty quickly. Give them insight on stuff. Uh, let them know what you're doing. Uh, let them know you're in the studio. Have tons of pictures you could put up. Do a free show for them that you could stream live for your fans to watch. Things like that. But don't always just send something trying to sell them music or trying to sell them merch. It'll turn them off. Another thing I mentioned before, but I want to state it again, is you can have contests. What kind of contests? Well, have a contest to name a song. Have a contest to name your next album. Have a contest where whoever shares your video the most. Things like that. And have them win like a free t-shirt or another free song or something like that. People love contests and keep doing stuff like that and they'll love it. It's fun and they'll want to do it. They'll want to participate. And that means they're still interacting with you as a fan. Another big thing is interaction. Like I just said before, like for instance, have Q and A's, have a live stream and have a question and answer thing with your fans or especially like after shows, hang around, hang around by the merch table. If you have one, shake hands, meet your fans, take pictures. You can even Take pictures yourself with fans and post them up on your website or on your social media. This makes people feel special. Like, wow, my favorite artist just put a picture of him and I up on the website. That's, that's a really, really cool thing to do. And it shows that you're human and you like to interact with them. And you do stuff like that and you'll have a strong fan following. I promise you that. Also, get input from your fans. Ask them questions. Have them give you advice. Like, what do you think of this song? Or what do you think of this track? What do you think of this new logo I might use? What do you think of this new t-shirt design? And have your fans give you input. It could help tremendously. Also do things like ask them if, if we decided to put out a limited edition vinyl or a limited edition CD, would you guys be interested? And see what they say. If the fans are saying no, then you know not to do it. But they'll give you valuable feedback. So ask them for their input at times. You'll see, it helps a lot. Another big thing that I always say is don't overdo the emails in the newsletters. I would send one maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a month, just depending how large your fan base is and how much they do interact with you. But as far as email marketing, don't overdo it because they'll unsubscribe quickly if you do. But as far as like being online, social media, try to interact every day. Try to say something. Try to post a picture. Try to uh, sh you know let them know about new songs coming out. Stuff like that. But the newsletter, keep it to a minimum, maybe once every two weeks, something like that. Maybe once a week, but you just got to see. If you start losing subscribers, lessen it up a little bit. The main thing here is that if you treat your fans right, they will be happy and they will be willing to spread the good word of your music career. And then in turn, that brings more fans in. Think about it. If you treat your fans right, say one fan is talking one day and they're like, oh, have you ever heard of this artist? And they're talking to their cousin and the cousin's like, no, I haven't they'll introduce you to like their cousin. If they think that you're an amazing person, you have great music and you interact with fans, 
They are willing to spread the word. And it works perfectly well. You'll see. Do these things. I promise you. You'll build your fan base up and you'll maintain the current fans that you have. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. I have tons of other videos on music business advice. Also, look down in the description below. There are tons of things that you might be able to help you with your music career. Things like discounts on TuneCore, Banzoogle. There's uh, ebooks you can read about releasing your own music, about music publishing. Go down there in the description and check it out. I guarantee you there'll be something that you like. I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time.